Let's face it, rules are there to be broken, and our beloved sport of cycling is no exception at all. And we're not talking about UCI regulations here, more the unwritten rules that, on occasion, actually need to be broken, so we can all spread our own individual cycling wins. Top 10 cycling rules to break. Sock shoe combination. A few years back, you'd have been hauled before the courts by your bib shorts if you'd have had the audacity to venture out in anything but traditional black shoes, white socks combo. Yeah, now though, almost any shoe sock combination seems to be acceptable. There's even grey socks in the Pro Peloton. I'm loving those, that length, perfect. Yeah, I hold them up by permanently tensing my calf muscles. Wearing leg warmers without arm warmers on. This may seem a little odd to you, and in fact it does to us too, hence it being in this list. Do the right thing and ignore this frankly peculiar rule. No, my legs are fine, it's just that my arms are getting a bit warm. This is what I've always done, mate. I know you've always done it because I noticed on that Bertie video where he dropped you that you had this combo going on. It didn't help you then, did it? Wearing pro team kit. Another unwritten rule that we're happy to see screwed up and tossed into the recycling bin is this, that you can't wear pro kit unless you're a pro. Well, stuff that if you're a fan of the sport and want to support your favourite rider or team, then why not? Yeah, although we do have one caveat. We draw the line at wearing the kit of national or indeed world champions. Just respect the stripes. Oh, oh actually, it's just up to you. Tools and tubes should be stored in pockets. Whoa, hold on a minute. There are options. Saddlebags these days can be really discreet, tucking themselves very neatly and aerodynamically beneath your seat so it's not to disturb your bike's wonderful aesthetic. You pop your tools and your tubes in there to keep your pockets bulk free and comfortable. So we will take that rule and we will put it in the trash. No unplanned cafe stops. Hey, new cafe. Hey, check it out. That looks all right, doesn't it? Can we stop here? Let's do it. So when faced with the quandary of do we or don't we, apply this test. Will I ever get the chance again? If no, give in and enjoy. Whose round is it? Uh, I think it might be yours again, Sai, to be honest with you. Four rounds on the trot. But we set the limit at five stops per ride. Shorts should always be black. To be so ingrained as to arbitrarily ignore the option of even trying other colours, we find rather unhealthy. So, we say, give colours a chance, but approach with caution. FDJ, AG2R and Cervelo test team kit designers, please take note. Stick to your training plan. Look, we're not telling you to throw your plan completely out the window and dispense with it altogether, of course. If you really are tired, dial down the intensity and take a day off, or opt for the cafe over intervals. Don't be a slave to the plan. You have to eat energy products. I tell you what, Sai, must be nearly lunchtime. I'm absolutely starving, I've not got any food. Gels, bars and energy products are all well and good and certainly have their place. I've got baguettes for us. Very much. That's fantastic. Simply pack your pockets with stuff you like. Your favourite sandwich, some homemade fruitcake, even pizza. Your pockets are your oyster. Ride naked. No, not that naked. Have we been here before? I think we're lost. Once in a while, why not turn off your generic sulk computer? It's liberating. A voyage of discovery dictated only by how far you're willing to push your personal envelope of natural, instinctive inquisitiveness. No Tour de France viewing when working. The Tour de France only comes around once a year, albeit 21 days a year. Once a year. Anyway, because of its relative rarity, we think that bosses in general should be far more generous when it comes to our Tour de France viewing pleasure. Hey Dan. Sorry. Sorry man, I'm just watching the, the tour. Cracking stage. Have we, let's crack on with the end of the video anyway. I've, I've done it, that was it, that was the last one. You missed it because you're watching the tour. Oh, sorry mate. Uh, we've got loads more great top tens for you on the channel. Um, some of them from a few years ago, but real gems. Uh, so if you click just up there, we've got our top 10 things not to eat on a bike. And just down there, we've got top 10 things not to wear on a bike. Well, if you want to subscribe to GCN, you might as well just click on the Tour de France, because that's what Dan was pretty much focused on anyway. Cheers, Dan.